Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to sync files between multiple Macs using iDisk. So I get asked this question all the time. Can I use an automator script or some third party software so I can sync files between my computers using iDisk? Well, you don't need any extra software or an automator script. You can do this using built in iDisk functionality. You just need to turn it on. So to turn this functionality on just go to your System Preferences Mobile Me then click on the iDisk tab. Under there at the bottom you'll find iDisk Sync. Turn it on by starting it. Then you have options. You can have it update automatically which is what you should do or manually. You can also determine how conflicts are resolved. Whether or not the most recent version of every file is just automatically kept or whether you are asked about any conflicts. So then once you have that set up you can go to your iDisk using one of the many methods like the Go menu and bring up your iDisk here. Now you've got some additional things. You've got this little syncing icon here and you can click it to manually sync at any time that you want. You've also got a Sync Now item here under the Tool menu and a checkbox here for the automatic syncing. Now say you've got two Macs and you're using iDisk Sync. So you've actually got three copies of the files. One locally on the first Mac, one locally on the second Mac and a third copy that's remotely stored on the iDisk server. But you don't have to worry about those details. All you need to do is go to your iDisk on either one of those Macs and sure you'll be accessing a local copy of that but it will be kept in sync with the one on the server and then in turn kept in sync with the one on the second Mac automatically. You never see two separate locations for the file. You just see one iDisk and you let iDisk sync worry about keeping it in sync between your Macs and the server. So you can use your iDisk just like any attached drive. You just select it and treat it as something local. Uh, you can see at the bottom here it will actually show you what it's doing. In this case it's syncing one file there. And when it's done syncing or any time in between it will actually show you the time of the last sync. So you can kind of get an idea whether or not it's able to connect to the server and keep things up to date. Uh, if I go and change a file, so let's go into Documents here and change this file here. I save it. You can see that before too long iDisk will go and sync that file back to the server to make sure the server copy is up to date. There it goes. So you kind of have to change your behavior a little bit. Instead of storing documents in your Documents folder you want to store them in your iDisk Documents folder that saves them locally and then syncs it with the server. And you have that local copy. So if you're not connected to the internet at any time you can still access the local copy, make changes and the next time you're connected it will sync it with the server. So iDisk syncing is great if you have one Mac and you simply want to sync with iDisk so you have a copy available remotely or think of it as an automatic backup system too. Or if you've got two Macs and you want to keep files between them in sync you just start using the iDisk Documents folder rather than your regular documents folder. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.